that there certainly is a lot of stress and anxiety surrounding the coronavirus. And the longer it goes, the more of a toll it will take on our mental health. WBZ's Louisa Moeller has that story tonight. Activities like snowboarding, pool parties with friends, and outings to the dog park have helped Tara Montgomery cope with her anxiety, depression, and PTSD in the past. High five. But now, the Malden woman and her three pets are self-isolating, and it's taking a toll. The first five days, I was, it was really, really difficult for me. I was sleeping a lot. I was watching the news absolutely nonstop. She called her doctors and started feeling relief from her symptoms that can range from migraines to fatigue and sadness. Once I started getting outside every day and just getting fresh air, whether it was to take my dog around the block or just to sit in my yard, that helped tremendously. So She's not alone in her struggle. An estimated one in five Americans suffer from mental illness. For one in 25, it's severe. That's according to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Then they start projecting and start thinking, this is the end of the world. That's why Jeff Seizel, executive director of the Center for Health Resources in Woburn, is preaching emotional closeness while we all social distance. Practice the rules of the four Fs. So what are the four reps? In your life, when you're having trouble, rely upon your friends, your family, fitness, and faith. And he says action alleviates anxiety. Plan your day. Be productive. So get up and make a list. Here are the things I'm going to do today. Resiliency is you get knocked down, you get back up. Many mental health providers are now offering telehealth services, and the CDC also has some tips for how to manage anxiety and stress as we learn more about the coronavirus. You can find those on our website, cbsboston.com. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.